Hey, hey, social media. It is Nana Nookers. So, today I have, well, I have been doing this over the weekend and the last few days I've been testing some new products. Uh, if you watched my last video, you will see that I was, I talked a little bit about the Genesis, I mean, not Genesis, I'm sorry, about the Liquitex um, Clear Gesso. What I want to say about the Clear Gesso, this is the first product that I found that I can prep a kit with and it gives it some tooth. And when I use my Genesis Heat Set Paints, I always use thin and medium to do that. Now, this stuff straight up out the bottle is very, very rough, so you have to dilute it. Instructions say not to dilute it no more than 25% with water. I have to dilute it just a little bit more than that to get that right texture that I like on a kit before I start painting. So, so far, this is a winner for air dry prepping. It's the only thing I've used it for so far, um, but it gives that little bit of texture. I really like this product. Second product that I really like, which is kind of weird, and this is an artist, artist loft product. It is not expensive at all, but you know, I just pick it up. It's called Slow Dry Blending Gel Medium. Not only does it slow the drying time of the paint, it gives it a texture a lot like the Genesis when we're working with the Genesis. So it slows it down and it gives it, um, it makes it more blendable, if that's what I want to say. And I wanted to be doing in the group some videos on exactly how I use this. And as you see, you get a whole lot of this. And I think it was only like seven or eight dollars for this big, big thing. And I will show some examples of what I've used it for and how it looks once it's once it's cured and dried. Um, it says it's artist loft acrylic. Acrylics are fast drying water based and extremely versatile, ideal for use with many techniques and varieties of surface. So, I really like this stuff. I'm impressed. <laughs> I didn't think I would be. I thought, oh well, we'll try it. Now, as for the liquid thick, as you can see, I've been using it. I got a little bit of red in there. The liquid thick kind of works like the slow dry and blending gel. It makes your paint thicker. It makes it makes it thicker. And let me tell you, it makes it a lot thicker. A lot, lot thicker. So you would use very little of this. But it doesn't it doesn't have the blendability that the gel has. Now, what I will say about this, it gives a texture. What I do like about this is it gives a texture. So what I have done with this is I have taken just a little bit of the liquid thick and I have mixed it with the airbrush medium. And I have used that to give it some texture. Uh, and it, it works really well. The next thing I wanna try is to mix the Liquitex with maybe some matte, uh, some of their matte varnish and see if it gives that texture that I'm looking for. Um, but so far, these are the products I'm working on, working with today. And I will try to get some videos of me working with those. I've actually set up another area in my art studio just for my practice so I can keep all my Genesis and things separate. I have lots of Genesis left, but, you know, it will eventually run out. <laughs> it's just inevitable that at some point, I may not ever run out of paints. I probably have enough paints to last my lifetime, but it may... Uh, I may run out of completely out of mediums, and that would be a sad day for me because I love my Genesis mediums. So, I may also, while I'm on the subject, for anybody who would like to test these, I have somewhere, and I'm going to find them. I have some little round, um, make, actually makeup goes in them, but I could use them to put a little bit of this stuff in, and you guys could test it for yourself. So, I may list some of that up on my Etsy shop, that way everybody can test it before they run out and buy a whole container of it. Um, I don't mind buying whole containers because my mother's an artist and she uses a lot of these different mediums when she paints. She paints canvas art, she doesn't reborn. But she uses a lot of these different mediums so anything I don't like I can just give to her and she can use them up. So I may just make up some samples and anybody wants those, they can just, it'll be very cheap. Just just enough to cover the cost and, and shipping. 
so without having to buy a whole entire thing of product and then not like it okay with that said please be kind to each other we'll be back in a bit talk to you later bye